Hello everybody, Pixel Heart Gaming here, and welcome to another episode of what I think of where I take a movie, a TV show, or what I'm kind of doing right now, watching a video, and getting my thoughts about it. For some reason, I like this better than just talking about a movie with a still image up. Hmm. I guess, I guess that's the reason why. Anyway. I look at the totally obsessed series where people are obsessed about one specific thing. This guy's obsessed with Pac-Man. You can only imagine what can happen. Well, how far I do, let's do this. Meet Tim Christ, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Uh, okay, before we get on, before we move on, I'm just gonna say that Pac-Man has no idea what he's doing. At the beginning, like, if you, if you saw already, he had a Pac-Man plushie, Pac-Man shirt, and possibly a Pac-Man cape, and a microphone, and he just went, huh? Like, okay, that's that just gives you the idea of he has no idea what he's doing. But let's continue on and see how, how it goes. After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! Okay. His, ye his yellow light is always guiding me. No. No, you didn't need light guidance from a video game character. And besides that, that Pac-Man mask is, is inaccurate. When has Pac-Man ever had red eyes? And the black mask, I kind of understand, it's like trying to recreate a 3D Pac-Man, but no. And never had red eyes, and it should never, never have red eyes. Anyway, let's continue. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddy- Also, why is he- Okay, I get it, he's like obsessed with Pac-Man, as it says, but why is- He's Tim Christ, but he's Tim Shootbox. And when it makes sense to be Pac-Man, you can just change. No, okay. Gotta give this man some credibility other than Pac-Man. Yes, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. Oh dear. So he's in love with Pac-Man. I thought he just collected Pac-Man. Okay. I'm not judging. And just this wonderful thing, like, hey, look, it's Pac-Man. No. He's way too excited to hold that Pac-Man plushie. I'm just saying. Past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. 20 years, huh? Wow. That's a lot of money going down the drain. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. So basically, he's like, oh, you don't know what Pac-Man is? It's something like this. And basically, acts out like a complete psychopath. Just show a video online of what Pac-Man looks like. You don't have to reenact it. Your friends are going to think you're crazy. Eh, not, not that they already know you're crazy. Just, <sighs> Look what you've done. Okay. He's taking Pac-Man like it, like... He's taking Pac-Man like it's, it's like someone just died. Jeez. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. He definitely has a bond with Pac-Man. How could you tell from all that merch he has on that creepy Pac-Man mask? The way he just interacts with it. Just, just saying. Just saying. Uh, he has the psychic connection with Pac-Man. I, I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame her saying that because that actually makes so much sense. Just imagine that. A tele psychic pathway with Pac-Man. Yeah, I see that. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. And He's a wizard. No one else. 
can have senses that the Pac-Man arcade machines are on. I'm just saying. There he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just... <laughs> okay, don't you need to be careful? Those arcade machines cost a lot of money. Make sure you don't topple them over. Jeez. I feel like these guys have seen him like every day, but they finally re they finally just realize it's like a joke. I like how they both look at him and say, like, <laughs> this guy again, he's so funny. Their secret like under his bed. Yeah, everything's gonna leave. Probably not. The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter. Man, his friend keeps it real. And that the one you said was too real. Wow. That's sad. Quarter, 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 quarter. You were coming to this pack you were coming to this pack that came to she wanting to play and you forgot to run about quarters. I can understand how you've played Pac-Man on, on virtual consoles, I see, but but if you're going outside in like a, like a restaurant to play Pac-Man, well, you know, it's, you need quarters. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the Great Yellow One? He called Pac-Man Great Yellow One. I like how this guy, that guy right there, is enjoying the torment of his friend just having to interact with this guy. <sighs> look how happy, serious he looks. Look how, look how happy he is to just see the torment of his friend. Certainly, certainly. Keep the great yellow ones from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. This is really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever thought of how arcade machines feel? Joysticks move every day. Buttons get pressed very hard because of rage. Hashtag. Let arcade machines have a chance. Get that trending. No. Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't look at you. I should destroy you with my hat. Oh. Yeah, he, I think this is the part where he goes insane and starts killing everyone. Oh wait, he's not a, oh wait. Oh, oh yeah, he's not a horror movie character, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Jim is- I, I can't, I can't see the Pac-Man. I can't see the Pac-Man gameplay he's doing. Okay, okay, fine. Spent $10,000 oh, oh, in quarters oh, alone yeah. playing every day on his lunch break. Um, hey, wait, I gotta go back. How much was that? How much exactly? Uh, how much exactly did he say? <laughs> Jim has spent ten thousand dollars in quarters alone playing every day on his lunch break. First off, he has a job. Second of all, he eats ten thousand dollars in quarters every day on his lunch break. Play back then. I'm surprised this dude even has a job. You think of all the Pac-Man stuff he has. And the way he acts around people, you think? You think he wouldn't have a job? Not that I'm saying that he wouldn't. I'm just depressed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are keep besides the besides his friend. These guys are keeping it real. Keeping it real. Yeah. In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. You started playing you started playing Pac-Man since you were seven. Now you're I don't know how old. Like around twenty like in your thirties or something. You still haven't mastered Pac-Man. Mm, I can understand. I could be like how how like he has all this Pac-Man merch and he feels like he's a man of Pac-Man. And the game and that doesn't transfer over to actual game. Like I understand. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's other games in the world. It's on Street Rider Arcade down the, down the road. I'll teach you how to go around Dukin. When the holy semicircle of life meets his demise in the melting way he does, it always brings me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I He's talking about how Pac Man's death animation. He's talking. How Pac-Man 
death animations like like he just saw someone die too real and too much seriousness <coughs> uh, excuse me we could have turned left instead of right pac-man no glide right by pac-man glide by pac-man why glide by pac-man <laughs> no this this guy this, this guy <coughs> This guy is just so frustrated with Pac-Man, and then and look, a look on his wife's face says it all. I, I married this person. I married this person. Well, can't go back now. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems, and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. He has all the Pac-Man. He has all the video game machines that can play Pac-Man, and it sets up every one of them in his room. You mean he can play Pac-Man on the toilet? That is amazing. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. Oh, it's very frustrating with him. I could see from how how we just saw him play Pac-Man there. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me. I don't think he even cares about whoever plays Pac-Man with him. He just cares about Pac-Man himself. Such a sad, sad man. You get to watch me play. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to- ah, Pac-Man eat you now! Ah! How's that? I'm gonna cry. Oh, why? No, don't <laughs> cry. And okay, hold on. Don't cry. Oh yeah, don't cry about the fact that you can't play even though you kind of rub the idea. Oh, she can't play in her face. They're just saying, man. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. What, what, what? Okay, he, he made a song. Okay, I'm just saying. He, he, he made a song. That's cool. Good job. Good job for you. And the song is called Pac-Man is Naked and You Should Be Too. It's not, it wouldn't look, it's not this, it, that's, that's totally two different things. No. Back then, it, it's not a really big deal, but people, no. 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 Are you ready for Batman? I'm not ready for Pac-Man. Actually, I'm, I was thinking of playing, playing Street Fighter, if, if you're okay. Smash Bros. is actually a good game. But there's Pac-Man. Never mind. Man, this guy's got the moves. Look, look at him, like, bobbing his head left and right. What's wrong with you? Tim. Tim. What's wrong with you? That's way too bad. I, I, yeah, that, that's, that's how you would get to him. It's like, yeah, well, what do you want? I want to play Pac-Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Tim, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Tim? What the Pac-Man thing? Yeah, I'd understand that. Man, this thing is a game! You move the joystick and eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. And there hasn't been any? Sometimes, he's just gotta bring the message. Okay, this man is driving in this car with a megaphone. This can't be good. To the people. How much cops, how much cop cars do you think is gonna surround him? I'm gonna say two. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life and I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. So? So what if they don't like Pac-Man? You don't have to like every video game that's likes. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! That guy on the shopping cart is, is exactly, is exactly right. I would just walked away, never looked back. Unless he didn't look back at me. Pac-Man! Bless the pub- Oh my gosh, he has a Pac-Man grip on his tire. On his steering wheel, I mean. Why? But forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm. Okay, but those Pac-Man fuzzy dice actually won't. Them for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the golden one who is round and eats things. It is written that you shall be Pac-Man, and only then shall you know the glory of Pac-Man. I was just making.
man not been arrested yet? That's what I'm saying. He hasn't been like he's great. He's going down supermarkets and screaming Pac-Man into a megaphone and looking like uh, directly at the people, not knowing that he might have crashed. He might. He can crash at any time. Just say. It can be extremely embarrassing. Oh. What could be extremely embarrassing to have a husband that is a Douglas Pac-Man and has so much Pac-Man merchandise? Or the fact that he is screaming Pac-Man through a megaphone while driving driving through a supermarket parking lot. It's just, him. guy sends me mixed messages and I just don't get what you're trying to say. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there. Seriously, those Pac-Man fuzzy dice, can you... Where can I get them? I need them. Like, Pac-Man? <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the most I got, one of the most iconic video games in the world where you're this little half circle pizza thing and then you're eating ghosts and then you gotta get all those pellet things to win. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Bow before Pac-Man, see his glory! See the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! No. Exactly. I think these people are gonna look back on their lives, they're gonna be lying at their desk and thinking, my god. I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. So, I don't think they would be thinking of video games when, they, when they're when they dead. They'd be thinking about their family, like any normal person would. And sure, if you don't want to play Pac-Man, fine. But at least you gotta play Pac-Man once in your life. But if you don't, that's, that's perfectly fine. Say Pac-Man! Say Pac-Man! And now it's too late. Pac-Man! Psychotic. It's adorable. What? You are telling me that, that your friend is psychotic, even the local, like, even local pedestrians think the same thing too, and then you're saying it's adorable? I actually want to know your thoughts behind this. <laughs> In a very disturbing way, it's adorable. Okay, okay, right. No, that makes sense in a disturbing way. Okay. I was getting a little concerned about you. You were like the, you were like the voice of wisdom. Voice of reality, I'm sorry. I understand that. <laughs> I'm Fred Willard, and that's it for Totally Obsessed. Traveling to the farthest reaches of obsession and light years beyond. Okay, so that was Totally Obsessed Pac Man. I have to say that that was one of the weirdest. That was, that was just weird, and I have had to win as Joe's barbecue and foot massage. I thought that was weird, but this man showed us that that if you do not play back, man, you are wasting your life. You should, and if you ever thought of not playing back, man, this man will come to your house and motivate you to play back, man. He's never going. To, he's never gonna leave. He will never leave. He will play Pac-Man. Then he'll leave. So basically the moral of the story is, if you don't play Pac-Man, this guy's gonna come to your house and make you play it. Um, dear. What has the world got into? Anyway, I'm Pixel Arc, and you were saying, play Pac-Man. Roll your